Now, who's this with Catch of the Day? <laughs> it's Catch of the Day, but it's the Catch of a Lifetime too. This is uh, a tiny painting of my father with his first large salmon, 19.6 kilos it was. Caught on a fly rod in 1960 or 61. He looks like a very typical working class boy. He, he was a working class boy, but he made this, this class travel from his working class background uh, via the nice schools in the western part of Oslo and then he travelled north to uh, the technical university um, and trained as a chemical engineer and uh, this was in the, the years leading up to, to the, the point where Norway actually strikes oil and, and being a chemical engineer is the thing to be. And, um, and so, he, uh, and so he, meets, he meets the West End boys and they do fly fishing and they do wine drinking and they can mix a G&T. Uh, and so they, they, uh, they teach him. Um, I mean, he's always been a very outdoorsy person, but uh, now he, he explores the field of, of uh, this gentlemanly sport of, 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 uh, of fly casting. And, um, and so he catches this monster on one, one of his first trips. And it's a really big fish. It's almost 20 kilos. It's almost 20 kilos. That was worth something. It was, it was worth, worth something, not only, in the, in not only in the symbolic and metaphysical sense. It meant money, because uh, uh, at the time you couldn't farm salmon. No, no one had thought of it, so it was, it was all wild. And so what he did, he sold it to the, to the hotel restaurant in the, in, the, in the most fancy restaurant in Trondheim. And he was paid the equivalent of half a student's loan. <laughs> and what did he do with that money? Well, that's the thing. He, he should have used it for something sensible. But but his uh, his uh, West End friends they um, they said that uh, you should you should buy wine for this. And um, and so he asked the the, the maitre d of the of the restaurant for advice. And the maitre d says, well, there's a small house in in uh, in Bordeaux, Chateau Madeleine. And I think they're going to have a really good year, 60, 61, so you, you could buy that. And so many years after that, he's, he's had his share of, of nice wines. And of course, uh, Norway became such a rich country in the interim years. But a few years back, he, he called me from London. He had found the same wine again and he tasted it. And it was like, a, it was like time travel for him. So it was like, you know, back to, his, to the student days and the happy times with the 20 kilo salmon. And I said, well, well, I'm going to buy some and, and I'll, I'll share this with you. And did you drink it together? No, we never got the time for that. 